Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. As you might have seen in my last video, I did talk about and demonstrated how to record a song uh, using a very basic mixer, the Behringer's Q502 USB mixer, and then connect that to my laptop and then use a free software called Audacity to record the song. Though, um, you know, the software is free to use and you can do recording with it, but it's really, as I demonstrated, it's not really not for multi-track uh, music or song recording. It's really designed for, you know, uh, basic podcasting and uh, audio editing and, you know, simple editing and so on. So I thought, why don't I take the next level up and tell you all about uh, a full-fledged uh, DO digital audio workstation software that is under $20. Yeah, you heard it right, $20. And you can actually get a really good multi-track recording with all of the options in there. So why don't I tell you all about that? Now the software that I'm talking about is uh, from Cakewalk. Now Cakewalk uh, has been around for quite a while, uh, creating uh, music recording software. And uh, their latest sort of uh, range of software includes Sonar X3, where they have the artist version, the professional version, and the platinum version. Now, I think they start somewhere about $99 and they move up in price. But they do have another software where it's designed for beginners and home recording enthusiasts to actually start with. It's called the Cakewalk Music Creator and they have version 7 uh, that I believe it's just released in February, March of this year, 2015. Um, and it's, um, it's really easy to use. It's a full fresh multi-track recording um, at the same time, you can have uh, multiple effects per track um, where you can adjust your uh, effect settings while you're listening to the track, which is something you can't do in Audacity, as well as it has 100% um, supported MIDI uh, recording and editing, which Audacity doesn't have. So. Um, and it's only and it only costs uh, $19.99 uh, on special if you buy it. Normally they are, I believe, uh, $49.99, but uh, there are occasions where you can get it for $19.99, and I will show you how you can get that as well. So um, it's a fantastic software, and I will talk about it, and uh, and I will do a quick demonstration of it as well, and. Hopefully in the next video and the following videos, we're going to use Music Creator 7 to create our next song. So uh, maybe if you like to follow with me, if you already have the software, then fantastic, you can follow me and we can create a song. If not, you know, if you want to invest $19.99 um, for a recording software, then you can join me and we can start creating music. Now, I should also mention for $19.99, you get a lot of software, actually five gigs worth of um, audio loops and libraries with it. So without any further ado, why don't we have a look on the website and I will also do a quick demonstration of the demo in uh, Music Creator 7 as well. Okay, let's head out to www.cakewalk.com. That's where we are um, uh, to click to get to Music Creator 7. We'll have a quick look of all of some of its capabilities and what the screens look like. Um, that's basically what the GUI looks like of the DAW. So you've got your tracks at the top and you've got your editing, uh, whether if it's the audio editing or MIDI editing. Uh, of the track then you have the track effects on the side and a few other things which I will show you later on um, they've added uh, quite a few things since uh, version um, uh, version 6 one of the good things is you have up to 32 audio tracks and 8 instrument tracks and 128 MIDI tracks so that's um, one of the new things um, 
uh, some, I guess some of the limitations I should say uh, in comparing to the Sonar but even though 32 tracks of audio uh, with 8 instruments um, and 128 MIDI tracks is plenty to record your song um, you know uh, even a big band uh, still be able to fit it in um, and the other good things from a previous version is 8 inputs and outputs simultaneously so you can record 8 audio tracks at the same time so if you have an audio interface um, like my one the Presonus audio box 1818 VSL and a whole heap of other audio interfaces like Focusrite and M audio and whatever which have eight analog inputs and analog outputs then you can connect them and probably record your whole band so um, yeah which is really good uh, I think the last version had only um, two inputs to outputs at the same time so great improvement on that and obviously you can also use all of your VST 323 instruments VST2 or VST3 instruments um, and it's got a whole heap of other enhancement um, uh, so having a look at uh, some of the features of uh, in a bit more detail uh, of Cakewalk Creator uh, Music Creator version 7 um, so you can as I mentioned you can record audio and MIDI at the same time um, or separately whichever way you like it um, and better uh, sort of looking uh, graphics to make it really easy to edit uh, virtual instruments that's the good thing about it so you can use your MIDI controller to roll up uh, the drum set and then add the bass uh, why not and then add probably the piano and roads and, and so on and you can add strings a variety of strings um, and then the sound center which is a, a sample library so you can play samples um, and sequences of it and the TTS which is the Roland's um, sound module used to be um, where up to 16 MIDI tracks can be assigned so you can play whole heap of sounds um, together or separately or in, in sequence and whichever way so we'll look we'll look all of these um, things as we uh, play around and create our song and if you don't have um, MIDI controller well you should really buy one because um, touch sensitivity comes in really handy but if not then no keyboard no problemo uh, which is uh, really good now the next good thing this mix strip they've added in version 7 which comes with max as a compressor a space which is um, a reverb unit and grid which is a tube simulator so they're all one knob so you adjust it however you like it to add compression add a little reverb and some warmth and you know the tube um, thing or, or even overdrive uh, for it so it's really fantastic um, so it already comes in that is on top of the four uh, band paramatic EQ that comes per channel obviously you are still able to add your VST plugins if you have some if you don't know what VST plugins in that I keep mentioning um, I will tell you what they are and um, or you can read about it but uh, as we creating the songs I will tell you what they are um, and what to do with them and obviously another option is the guitar uh, amp effects uh, that you can plug in uh, the TH2 where you can um, you know lay them out how you want the effects to be and uh, play your guitar and enjoy the sounds that comes out whole different cabinets adjustments and um, um, in effects and so on and the next one is the matrix where uh, you can use loops and MIDI or audio loops to actually form and create your song it's really good for dance music things um, really good stuff so we'll play around with that as well in the coming videos and uh, as we finish recording we'll be able to edit um, to the last uh, you know closest possible thing um, on top of the fact that we can do multiple takes of a recording whether if it's a vocal or an instrument and then choose the best parts of that recording to create a new track um, you know um, so if we sang the verse really well but uh, sucked in the uh, the second uh, chorus then um, after a couple takes we can choose the best one in uh, you know use that instead instead of recording one good take 
so we can do that and again it's got the enhanced MIDI uh, editing as well down to the node velocity um, and everything else that MIDI provides um, in there and the step sequencer which is probably a really good um, a drum sequencer pattern creator that you can use to create your drums yeah really good and the next obviously it's got very good and intuitive uh, mixer panel so you'll be able to visually see and adjust the levels as you're listening to your final mix um, and which will um, look at it as we mixing our song and you can see all the different um, effects and EQ that you have applied um, as I think it comes with uh, four bus um, as well as uh, two or four effects uh, bus on there as well um, so it's really, really, you know, uh, really good um, to use. And once we finish, obviously, we can upload it to SoundCloud or Facebook or Twitter and uh, YouTube. And within the program, it's um, it's really good. Uh, so that's what it uh, all of the features of it. So when you click buy now, when you're ready, you know it's up to you. Uh, no force, because as I mentioned, I'm not associated with Cakewalk anything at all. Mm. Oh, it already comes up, so I'm logged in already. Um, so as you can see, it's 1999 um, Australian, and I think US 1999 as now well. We know where to get it and how to get it. Um, let's have a look uh, what Cakewalk Music Creator version seven looks like. I have just loaded the demo uh, song um, in there to have a quick look. This is your main screen where you can actually see all of the all of the tracks and I think there's 15 tracks plus uh, one final mix track which we'll listen later on um, and it's really intuitive so you can put icons and text to make sure you remember what you recorded on each track um, and we can extend that and as you can see we can adjust the volume the pan and the gain we can uh, depending assign its input and its output where it needs to go uh, it has um, line text but in this case there'll be only one because it's a demo um, and uh, this automation as well so you'll be able to adjust automate um, the volume the panning and etc etc so um, it's really good and let's minimize that to make uh, room for it um, and this is the effects uh, option per track so let's say that's the kick drum and if you want to add let's say uh, compression click there we go compression is right there and we can adjust the knob how much compression we want for that track or or none um, and so on and we can add all the other effects as well as well as VSD plugins um, you know it's, it's no problem whatsoever um, and over here is the libraries um, let's minimize that there we go let's have a listen to some of the libraries uh, let's listen to some drums so we'll be able to um, like that one have a listen to fade ballad oops I need to turn it up or maybe boost You know, uh, and there's, as you can see, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, drums. Let's try that one. So you can see, you can create um, uh, whatever song you like. You know, let's let's try some guitars, shall we? Um, some uh, specific rhythm guitar in A major let's try some lead guitar so you can create your song however you like it oh, what about this one how good is that Hey, 
Um, so you got, you got a whole heap of other um, you know bass guitars and snares and synths and things. Now this is on top of the the MIDI library where you can use the MIDI sequences um, and create the virtual instruments and add on and so on and so on. And you also have VST plugins, VST, and it you know looks after VST2, VST3, um, and this is all my VSTs that it detected. Um, from all the different VST programs I have, it may not be the same as what you have, and so on, and uh, and synthesizers that you can add. So we'll look at to all of that later on. So let's have a quick listen to our demo song and see what it actually sounds like. Uh, up to fifteen tracks with no mixing. This is raw. <laughs> Yeah, cool, hey. Right? So this actually will allow you, because it's raw, it will allow you as a demo uh, to practice, uh, adjust and play around with it without having um, a band or somebody uh, you know, recording first. So you can learn how to use the software uh, before you actually jump into and start recording it. And as a final mix track that I have here, this is what it sound, could sound like once you finish playing around with it. I'm trying to hold my breath Yeah But you've got me in this groove Woo! I'm suspended in it out So that's what this is your raw track And this is what you could make it sound like Cause you know that this moment is Well, um, that's it uh, for the demo uh, of the uh, for for now. I think I uh, made it long enough. So, uh, if you don't already have Cakewalk Music Creator Seven, um, and if you like to use it, and if you like to join me creating uh, the next song, you can head down and uh, grab a copy yourself for nineteen ninety nine. Uh, and be ready so we can all um, enjoy creating music together in the, the next uh, upcoming video on my YouTube channel. Well, what did you like it? You like, did you like it? Music Creator 7 from Cakewalk. Um, it's really a small gem. It's really great to start uh, recording your own songs. Um, so, you know, it, it's a really well worthwhile investment for $19.99. Uh, hopefully, in the next uh, few videos that uh, I'm going to start creating, uh, we'll go through a process of recording a song where we will put the drum tracks on, the bass, guitars, uh, the strings and the pianos and all of that. And we might use um, this microphone with our Behringer Q502 mixer to uh, record audio tracks. Maybe you can play the guitar if you know how to play the guitar. I don't. Um, if you play the guitar, you can play them, record that as well, and together we can make some music. And um, if you have any further questions, feel free to comment below. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And um, probably a good idea to subscribe to my channel as well, so that way any new videos that I uh, make and put on YouTube, you'll be able to follow it. And um, till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.